All right. Start the show with uh, music from my new album that's coming out. So hang on. I know this is not very exciting, but somebody said if I'm gonna make you all wait, I might as well put some music on. So this is my new album that's coming out. Social distance anxiety disorder. set up and then you can stop worrying about it. Hold on. Enjoy the music. Okay. I think that's me. So, hi everybody. Listening to track one of I'll show you of this. Which uh, if you donated to any of my campaigns so far, you uh, you will get a copy of this. So okay, I'm overstimulated. <laughs> Let's turn this off. I'm going to play for you, not just spin my record. <clears throat> Hi, everybody. Welcome. I feel a little out of sorts today. I don't know about you, but uh, maybe that's just because we all feel out of sorts right now. I definitely am um, riding various waves. So my kids cut my hair. I guess you can uh, tell I got a haircut. And, like, how do you get a haircut now? Uh, they... Well, I started to cut it. I have a clippers and then uh, they fixed it. I think they fixed it. It's better than it looked before, before they fixed it, that's for sure. So thanks to my kids. I was gonna do the show up in the um, upstairs today, but I was afraid it was gonna get warm up there. So I'm just doing it in my living room here. And I'm gonna start off with a song that was the title track of a record from 2018, not very long ago. This, Stephanie requested this, among other songs. Hi, Stephanie. All of the sky can be yours. You got the healing the best endure. After you tried out all the cures, you're free. Thank you. 
sounds, does it sound okay? Sounds good in this room? All right, thank you. I, the feedback helps. You just can't really tell. So thank you everybody, I'm Dan Israel. This is my weekly show. Didn't necessarily think that my life would be like this, but none of us did, right? So, do a show in your living room so you don't go crazy. And so you can earn some kind of living during this. So I'm going to hold this up for you. This is kind of the sum total of my fundraising. Venmo at Dan Israel Music. PayPal, danmyspace at gmail.com, or you can Google my GoFundMe. Yeah, it's easier than me putting the long URL here, but you can find it if you just Google Dan Israel and GoFundMe. And um, thank you. Thank you, everybody who's already contributed. I really appreciate it. You're going to be getting my new album if you contribute. And this is what that looks like. Yeah, I, I already got them, but I shouldn't be saying that, but I do. But they're not released. It's not released yet. It's called social distance anxiety disorder. And I would love it if you would send me a message when you're thinking of it at some point. If you're one of the people who contributed already, it'd be awesome to just get your address so I knew where to send it. Um, if you feel comfortable, not publicly, just send me your address if you want a, a CD and you've contributed to any of those things. Though I might have already put one in the mail for you. Who knows? I'm working my way through a long list and it's going to take some time and uh, everybody will get it. And then if you would just rather have a download, that's fine too. But I'm sort of trying to prop up the post office in my own small conspiratorial way. So the more of you that uh, want a hard copy in the mail, the better, because then we can support the post office. I'm actually serious about that. I love the post office. So I don't want the post office to go out of business. I don't know how likely that actually is but if it's even a possibility let's do what we can okay with that out of the way i have some things i was going to play this week let's see i think i did this one uh Rafferty did that one with Mike Lane a few weeks ago. I thought I'd play it again because 
I don't know, something about that song. Well, I love Jerry Rafferty. And, uh, you know, we all know our Baker Street right down the line. But the, some of the more minor hits or slightly more minor hits of his are pretty great too. That's a good one. Uh, all right. Let's see here. I don't have quite a full agenda other than that I know there were a lot of songs I was going to try to play. How's everybody doing? Are we getting through? At least it's a beautiful day in Minnesota today. That helps. Um, you know, I think we all are uh, on a roller coaster of emotions and uh, I've had some health problems that aren't, I don't believe, related to the virus, but uh, it's been mm, kind of a difficult few months and then the last couple weeks it hurt my back, blah, blah, blah. Doing a little better, but every day is a new journey. <laughs> so, thank you all. Welcome. Uh, I'm going to play. So, I got some radio play today. Imagine that in the Twin Cities. They played um, 125 from the latest album, the previous latest album, over here somewhere by the Nail Clippers. It's from this album, they played the second song, 125, on The Current today. And I got a message from Joel, if you're out there watching. Friend Joel, let me know. Um, and then they plugged this. This show that you're watching was plugged by The Current today. They, they talked about that I had a live show on Facebook Live tonight. Um, that was really nice. Thank you to The Current for that and for playing my song. And I'm going to play that song. So... Off the road, I need a fiction, I need 
Thank you, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. If you could, uh, oh, I see lots of, oh, hey, you can find me on iHeartRadio. Cool. Thank you, Michael. Um, what was I going to say? I was going to say I'm going to play a Rolling Stones song, so hang on. Just a second. got to grab a different guitar. All right. Thank you, everybody. Oh, I, was, I know what I was going to say. If you could hit share, if you could share this with others, it always helps to uh, hit share. Then, like, lots of people might see it or something like that. Okay. guitars like a maniac. How y'all doing? I can't keep all the guitars in uh, within arm's reach so I gotta get up and pick them up. I had some uh, dog-eared uh, ideas for today but I think I'm mostly just gonna play what I want to play but I did have a few thoughts. And I have a few requests yet to do I know. Happy 
your hopes up way too high Reaching up till they touch the sky Little bit a little high Seem like they could never fall Let's try that again And I just can't take it Just can't take it at all good job considering well they're kids and they've never cut anyone's hair before I think they did a fantastic job actually I started to cut my hair and those results were not so good my kids basically fixed what I almost made a disaster of all right got a couple requests here this is for Paul Paul gets a couple of requests because he puts them in early <laughs> If you want your requests, you gotta put them in early. Otherwise, I just wander off on my own little tangents. All right.
into the uh, 20th century now implementing three ring binders. I'll get to the 21st century someday. But I had a few things tabbed in here that I was going to try tonight. Let's see what we got. Nope, not that. Oh yeah, I got one for you here. Let's see if I can pull it off before I get too excited about it. Alright, just going to get in tune. Hi everyone. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for sharing it. Thank you for, if you're able to contribute to the uh, funds, funds, it's a very hard word to say, funds, funds. These are the funds. Venmo at Dan Israel Music or PayPal, danmyspace at gmail.com. Or you can Google Dan Israel and GoFundMe and find my GoFundMe. If you have any questions, you can always message me if I if you already contributed to one of these and you want your copy of my new album you should send me a message with your mailing address and I'll get it out to you right away because you already bought it then all right Alright, 
Yes, I did a Billy Joel song. <laughs> it's about time I did a Billy Joel song in one of these, right? Okay. <laughs> Thank you. It is it is odd playing to a camera, yes. Now that you mentioned it. It's like, I know you guys are out there, but I can't hear you or see you other than your comments. So, But thank you for tuning in and watching and supporting me. I really do appreciate it. Uh, there's a song here I was going to try. Here we go. This is, uh, yeah, I have a lot of songs, so it's hard to remember them all. <laughs> oh, here's one. Okay. I'm doing a lot from the You're Free album for some reason tonight. I don't know what that's all about, but, uh... show this week though I'm actually playing Friday too online for the 10k lakes festival seven o'clock Friday and it'll be broadcast through this same through my Facebook live page and I'm probably gonna do different songs than I do tonight let's hope so so if you want to tune in Friday at seven that could be kind of fun huh maybe all right I wonder if I anybody's requested I'm gonna I'm gonna scroll up a moment hi everybody <laughs> okay it's fun but you can get lost in the comments if you're not careful oh i got i got a song hold on this is also for paul i i got i got this all set up just for this moment let's hope i don't blow it just a second here everybody Eh, straps don't need to be perfect okay here we go See how this works. Uh, nothing yet, but we could be muted. There we go. Can we hear that opening out there in Facebook land? The electric.
enjoyed that. Got to bring the electric out sometimes, right? Okay, back to acoustic land. Thank you everybody for tuning in. Whoa, this is live television. Anything can happen, anything at all. How y'all doing? Are y'all reading? I'm trying to read a lot. Uh, I, I usually read like a lot of history. I'm reading a book about a quality president named Richard Nixon. No, he looks kind of quality by comparison. Uh, I'm kind of kidding, but I'm reading a book about Nixon. Yeah, Richard Reeve. Uh, it's just pretty much like a, about his presidency and uh, well, you know, it's interesting. The good, the bad, the ugly of history to me is all interesting, so. Let's see here. I have some other requests I was going to try to work in, but I also just kind of want to play some songs. And... So much. Uh, my friend Steve Cohen, he's gonna hate it that I say this, but it's his it's a big birthday of his tomorrow. You should wish him a happy birthday on Facebook. Okay. He's probably mad at me if he's watching, but Steve is uh, one of my best friends and uh, he's made a lot of things possible over the years, helped me with so many things. So uh, you, should, you know, wish him a happy birthday tomorrow. That's all. Okay, how about a Bob Dylan song? You were just thinking that, right? I know you were. Bob 
did write this actually. Baby, let me follow you down. Baby, let me follow you down. Will I do anything in this God Almighty world if you just let me follow you down? Scott Woolridge is doing a streaming show tonight, I believe at 8 o'clock. Tune in to Scott at 8 if you're friends with Scott, or maybe you can go get to be friends with him just in time. But uh, Scott Woolridge, 8 o'clock tonight. Make sure you check him out. He's great, and uh, we've been friends since the 90s. The 90s. I'm telling you. All right. Song from uh, 2004, 
album, Time I Get Home. It's also on Danthology. Danthology, that's my two album vinyl thing if you want to. Any of my records, if you are interested, just message me. We'll set you up. I can send things through the mail. Like I said, I love the mail. All right. Thank you, everybody. Uh, let's see. I'm just going to get current on your... Oh, that's awesome. That makes me feel such nice comments. All right. Uh, I had something that I was going to play. Oh, I know. everybody. <laughs> cool. Glad you liked it. It's almost in my range. Almost. Thank you, everybody. <clears throat> so, uh, I was thinking before I played that, sometimes I start to play a song and then uh, I think of what I was going to say before the song, once the song started, and I don't want to stop it. But So I worked at a grocery store in high school called Cheese Market, or for those who lived in St. Louis Park, it was actually Milts, and then it became Cheese Milt Market, which doesn't make any sense. But anyway, I was a stock, stock boy. Uh, I think I may have graduated to cashier towards the end, but um, Mr. Chi was our boss, and so the song Raspberry Beret, it all worked. All you had to do was change McGee to Chi, and the rest worked. <laughs> We didn't have to weird out the whole song, just one word, just the name of the boss. And then the rest was actually perfect. I'm sure you can imagine. 
what troublemakers we were. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Got a few minutes left. Um, I had some ideas here, so let me go look back what, what, what I was thinking I was going to play before I got crowded. Oh, here's one. Okay. This is the first song on Live On, the Live On album from 2013. This is the first album I recorded with Rich Madsen of the modern era. <laughs> knew it. Got to go back and learn my own songs. It's a project. I thought I had that one already, but I was close. I was so close. All right. Got time for a couple more and I, I had, oh, let's try this. I never, that's never a good thing, right? So he's, let's try this.
Great song. All right. Uh, let's see here. I got time for. Oh, it's seven o'clock. I should wrap it up soon. I try to wrap these up after about an hour, but usually I go a little long. And what the heck? I'm gonna play a couple more. Right? Why not? Okay. Just gotta figure out what. <laughs> Thank you. 
here soon <laughs> yeah the stones I know I didn't actually have tickets to the stones I had a, a gig booked in Duluth a big show on the day of the Stones show uh, I was gonna open up the Duluth Dylan days festival I was like the kickoff artist for the Duluth Dylan days with Bob Dylan born in Duluth and then grew up in Hibbing in case you didn't know and uh, so that went away, but maybe next year I'll still do it. But that was going to be the day of the Stones show. So I didn't try. I didn't even try to buy Stones tickets, even though I probably would have had I not had the show. Even though I know they were horribly expensive. <laughs> All right. When I call, you were
Thank you, everybody. I think that's going to be it. My voice doesn't want to give out too much. It's going to give out here any minute is what I mean. Thank you all so much for tuning in. I try to do these every Wednesday at 6, and I've also got this show on Friday on the same on my fan page, but it's going to be for the 10K Lakes Festival, 7 p.m. on Friday this week, and then again next Wednesday at 6 p.m. And uh, let me know if you want me to send you a CD. If, if you've uh, contributed to any of my funds, I would love to just get one off in the mail to you. I've got envelopes and stamps, and I'm going to send them all out as soon as I can. But if you, sh if you shoot me your address and you're one of the donors, you'll get it sooner. So thank you, everybody. Appreciate it. You all have a good Wednesday night. I'm Dan Israel. Thank you.